Hello you wonderful folks I hope you all are doing great first of all I want to wish you all a happy new year 2024 is going to be the year of success and I wish that each and every one of you are going to excel in your career this year and this year is going to be a great one for you all so this is the first video of the year and uh, I thought why don't I talk about uh, an entire road map of how a biomedical engineering student should uh, spend his career or time in college four years is a huge time right so in today's video i will be covering with you all four years of college how you can make the best out of it how you can make sure you are skilled enough how you can network with people what goals you should have what short term and long term goals you should set for yourself and how you can achieve them so without further ado let's dive into the video Okay, to start off with, first of all, I would like to tell you guys a year long goal that you should set for yourself because I'm pretty sure biomedical engineering students, when we go to the college, the first year we try to adjust ourselves to the college environment. We get accustomed to the class schedules, the times, the holidays, the breaks, pretty much things like that. But what I feel is if you want to be a skilled biomedical engineer in long run after four years, you have to start investing from day one. You have to start working on yourself from day one. It is not just about studying the core technical things. It's way more than what you think it is, right? So I will tell you five year long goals first, which you should set for yourself when you start your journey uh, in college, right? First year, second year, third year, fourth year, four year eight semester and one year long goal that you should set for yourself every year is these five which i'm going to tell you right now starting off with the first one i have a, a couple of notes with me here so that i can cover all the points which is required so the first point is academic excellence as you can understand right excelling in the academics is very much important because if you don't have cgpa maybe the, because of the college's rules you will not get placement opportunities and at the same time you will not be eligible for higher studies now there are two things which i want to mention here if you are someone who is very much interested and focused on pursuing higher studies it is very important for you to score good cgpa the better the cgpa the better the scholarship the better the opportunities and the better the chances that you will get into an organization or an institute in the uh, western country right but on the other hand, if you are someone who is very much focused to work in the industry, gain some experience and do masters, then I think CGPA is something which you shouldn't care more on. Anything between 7 to 8.59 CGPA is pretty good. I have my friends who who had like 4 pointer, 5 pointer GPAs and right now they are working in the best companies in healthcare domain. To name them Metronic, Siemens, uh, G Healthcare. So a lot of people I know. So if you're interested and focused on working, don't focus much on the uh, CGPA side of it. But if you're planning to do higher studies, then CGPA matters a lot. So the first goal that we have is academic excellence. Make sure that you are uh, setting a GPA target every semester and you are trying to achieve those targets because over the time of eight semesters, the average of your GPA is going to make uh, your entire CGPA, which has to be between seven to uh, nine or ten, the more the better. So every semester when you start, make sure that you are setting a GPA target for yourself and you're trying to achieve it the best way possible. The second goal that you should set for yourself is skill development. Now, skill development doesn't mean that you since you're doing biomedical engineering, you have to start acquiring the right skills from second year onwards, because first year, pretty much you will be covering all the uh, basic subjects. All the students from different departments will be focusing on studying the same subjects. That doesn't mean that till second year, you have to wait to acquire the right skills from biomedical engineering domain. What you can do when you're in the first year, attend workshops, attend seminars, attend hackathons, join different clubs, join different workshops from different departments and make sure that you are exploring as much as you can. The more you explore, the better understanding you will have with respect to the industry and the better opportunities you will get in the future because of these technical uh, expertise that you will have in different domains. That has personally helped me a lot. When I was in first year, I was exploring graphic designing sales business development video editing so i explored multiple domains and right now i'm pretty much okay with all of these skills you tell me to edit a video you, you tell me to make a poster you tell me to do any of those sort of things i know that because i have gained experiences in those things when i was in first year and second year of my college so 
explore internship opportunities in these domains okay okay you can do graphic designing in a healthcare company what's wrong in that that's how you learn that's how you gain experience that's how you network with people right so make sure that you are acquiring the right skills you can start off with basic online courses introduction to biomedical engineering there is one video which i have recorded six online courses that all biomedical engineers must do so check out that video the link will be here somewhere in the i button watch that video try to finish those courses initially if you want to start off with and if you are in the second year third year or fourth year it is very uh important for you to know about medical equipments you can dm me anytime if you want uh, a, a pdf of notes which i have made in which all the equipment details why is it used how it is used what is the principle behind the equipment pretty much covered everything so if you want that pdf do uh, drop a comment and i will email it across to you and you can study from that as well so skill development is the second goal that you should have for this year the third goal is research and internship opportunities as i said in the previous point also research and internship now again right now a lot of students reach out to me and say that you know they are not getting internship opportunities why is that is because over the time of one year you are not even thinking about doing an internship and suddenly your college asks you to do an internship and you are struggling to find the right opportunities you are applying to random companies you are ready to pay the amount and do the internship that's not how you should do internship if you want to do internship mid this year or by end of this year you should focus on what kind of internship you want to do so now let's say if you want to do a internship on digital signal processing in any of the companies so you have to make sure that over the time of next 6 months or 12 months you are developing your skill in digital signal processing you are studying different algorithms you are studying different things in the digital signal processing knowledge and make uh, domain and make sure that your knowledge is up to the mark so that's when you apply when you apply for an internship your resume reflects that you are someone who is having some kind of expertise in digital signal processing and they shortlist your resume and once your resume is shortlisted when you go for the interview since you have done this thing over the period of 6 months or 12 months or 10 months you have the knowledge and you can speak confidently about the things and about the role which you are applying to that's what makes you stand out from other students now imagine you are going uh randomly you are applying for an internship and there is this other person who has done uh specific things re- related to that internship for over a period of 6 to 10 months whom do you think will be more confident whom do you think the person will hire whom do you think will get the internship opportunity obviously the person who is in the second place right because he has done it over the period of 6 to 10 months so it's very important for you to make sure that you are doing a lot of research you are checking out a lot of internship opportunities and shortlist maybe 2 3 of them and then plan your journey for the next 6 months or 8 months or 12 months according to that so that you are never running short on any internship opportunities right now there are millions of internship opportunities that i see every day i can't apply because i'm a working professional but even though even i'm referring it to students they don't have the right skills and their resume doesn't get shortlisted right so that's the reason so make sure that third goal that you should set aside for yourself is research and internship opportunities coming down to the fourth uh, goal that you should set for yourself is networking so basically people say network is your net worth right so it is very important for you to network with people now networking can be done in many ways you can attend workshops you can attend seminars you can attend conferences you can get in touch with your alumni from the college you can get in touch with your professors you can get in touch with industry experts through linkedin now linkedin is the best place to network with people if you network with the right set of audience you every week trust me every week you will be getting a job opportunity i am not faking it i am telling it because i have seen it happening with myself every week every two weeks i will get an in, uh, a job opportunity some hr will be texting me and telling me that oh, you can apply for this job but i am rejecting them so for me right now it's rather than me running behind the companies the companies are running behind me why exactly is that that is because the skills that i have acquired over the period of two years and at the same time the kind of networking that i have on my linkedin so network with people we are linkedin very beneficial and very fruitful results you will be getting and who knows because when you network with people when you talk to people and when they understand that you are someone who is ready to invest your time and efforts and doing things the best way possible they themselves will give you the opportunities right so that's how you get opportunities from linkedin and as i said there are multiple ways you can network you can join whatsapp groups you can join biomedical linkedin groups you can do a lot of things to network with people but for that you have to be an extrovert you have to 
you have to be open to go and speak to people you shouldn't think that i don't know this person what if i text him or call him or talk to him what he or she will think you shouldn't have that mentality you should be ready to go and talk okay hi i'm so and so i just wanted to reach out to you and i wanted to speak to you regarding this do you think the person will not respond obviously they he or she will respond that's how i have made a lot of connections via linkedin this is the exact same way which i follow i send them a connection request with a personalized note i tell them why why exactly am i reaching out to them why exactly i want to connect with them and that's how i got connected with the best industry experts name few country sales manager of metronic vp of g healthcare vp of metronic amazing connections i have on my linkedin so be active on linkedin it will benefit you a lot in the long run so the fourth goal that you should have for yourself the yearly goal is network more with people the fifth one is uh, personal well being it is very much important for you to balance your work uh, your career your personal life getting adequate adequate amount of sleep and balancing out everything that you do i'm not telling you to you know since you are in college obviously you will be having classes from morning till evening after that set aside some time for yourself to relax to meditate to chill or to watch something that you like then set aside some time for your physical well being maybe working out going out for a walk or anything of that sort which will make you feel physically fit which is not making you feel lazy which is not making you feel la- uh, self- because of which you may be feeling like you are not that confident you don't you are lacking self confidence right so make sure that you are balancing everything it's 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 basically like you are you have to prioritize your mental health to to improvise your mental health what can you do you can meditate you can uh, uh uh you can do yoga right because yoga is also considered the best way to improvise your mental health but the top one being meditation so you can meditate more often every day set aside 10 15 minutes of your time and just sit with yourself and meditate right you will you will see wonders happening with you when you start doing these things what about your physical health physical health go join a gym you go join a workout play football go run a lot of things you can do so set aside maybe 45 minutes of your time out of your 24 hours that you have set aside for that physical well being right and apart from that develop a good sleep routine the sleep is very important i am not telling you to i am not going to tell you that you should sleep for 8 hours right for me 4 4 and 1/2 hours of good sleep is enough to survive the entire day but that may vary from person to person for you it may be 9 hours for me it will be 4 hours for someone else it will be 6 hours so try and analyze and try to understand how much amount of sleep is adequate is good enough for you to have a good uh day a productive day like the next day you are having a good productive day right make sure before going to bed you are not using your cell phones for uh, approximately 1 hour read a book before you sleep these are certain things which will help you to you know get into a better state of sleep and you can always uh, listen to the sleep music to get a deep better quality sleep that's what i have been doing and that's helped me a lot so these are the five goals which i wanted to share with you all I'll recap it once again for you all. The first a goal that you should have for yourself is academic excellence wherein you have to make sure that your CGPA is up to the mark. It should stay between 7 pointers to 9.5 10 pointers, right? The second one is going to be skill development. You have to make sure that you're developing your skills every day. Even 0.1% if you listen to a podcast if you're learning something that's adding to your skill development right so make sure every day for the next one year you are focusing on developing a skill sets don't miss out on any opportunities whether it's a workshop seminar hackathon any of those things the third goal that you should have for yourself should be research and internship opportunity you look for the research opportunities you look for the internship opportunities and you work towards getting into those opportunities over the period of 3 month 6 month 8 month 9 month or 12 month whatsoever may be the duration so that you are confident enough to crack those internship opportunities when the right time comes the fourth goal that you should have for yourself is networking with people you first of all can network with me i am very much active on linkedin whatsapp youtube you can network with me you can make use of linkedin you can make use of whatsapp you can make use of linkedin biomedical groups you can network with working professionals through linkedin so network as much as you can and make sure when you are connecting with people you are connecting with people who are way more smarter than you way more motivated and motivated than you because end of the day you become an average of five people you are surrounded with so make sure you are surrounding yourself with better people people who are doing wonderful things in their career people who are very much motivated to hustle in their 
20s or 30s these kind of people will motivate you motivate you more and these kind of people will help you to bring out the best out of yourself so networking is the fourth goal that you should have for yourself and the fifth and the final goal is personal well-being invest in yourself invest in your mental health invest in your physical health invest in uh, getting good amount of sleep whatever is needed these three things is very much important for you because without these three things all the other goals which you have planned for yourself in uh, from first second third and fourth pointers is going to be useless because without getting a good sleep you can't have a productive day because uh, b- without doing a physical activity you cannot uh, you know you know you cannot be active you you will feel lazy without getting good amount of mental peace or uh, without getting good amount of uh, mental peace you will be always you will be frustrated irritated you will not feel like doing anything so these three things mental health physical health and good amount of sleep is very much important so that is your fifth and the final goal for the year so already the video is pretty long uh, it's 15 minutes so i want to break it break down this video into two parts now i now i mentioned the yearly goals that you should have for yourself so we covered five year long goals that you have to achieve in 2024 so in the next video i will be talking to you guys about semester wise plan so january february march april may five months is going to be your first semester and then five months your second semester so i will come out with a semester plan so first semester what you should be doing what you should focus on doing second semester what you should be doing third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth we will be covering all the semesters but i will break down this video into different parts so do let me know if you want any specific requirements any specific kind of videos i will be more than happy to cover it up and just to give you guys a heads up that I have started a free 30 minutes career counseling or consultation you can call via my LinkedIn so you can go to my LinkedIn profile the link is in the description you can book a 30 minutes one on one call with me where you can ask me anything we can plan your career we can help you out with job opportunities internship opportunities and pretty much everything so make use of that it's completely free 30 minutes of my time 30 minutes of your time and we will we'll make the best out of it so that's uh, one thing which I have started this new year and that's about it make sure you are sharing this video with your fellow colleagues if you are a working professional if you are a student share it with your friends and uh, yeah subscribe comment like make sure that you are making the best use of this uh, video and reach out to me if at all you need anything see you in the next video so next video will be covering semester wise plan and uh, until then see ya stay safe and have a great wonderful 2024 ahead